Uh, trash talking as the bell rings and we're underway. Oh, 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 oh. That poor ref. This is not the way to kick things off. Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Ugh. Oh, man, just punishing. Elbow drop. Piercing. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Cena reaching deep into his bag of tricks for that springboard stunner. John Cena's in-ring action has been somewhat infrequent the past few years. You have to imagine that ring rust might play a part in this match tonight, Corey. I would agree with you, Cole, if it were anyone other than Cena. While he might not step through the ropes as regularly as he used to, Cena still maintains that peak physical conditioning he's always had. That's going to be hard for anyone to overcome. Goodness gracious. You have to imagine the disdain it takes. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked in? Hands locked. All right, now he's looking for any way to break out of this, and he does. He's turning the tables. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Here's a cover. No, he flips the shoulder before three. That was a long two count there. Focusing on the midsection, knocking the wind out of them. That was more splatter than splash. Oh, look out! High-speed crossbody from Wyatt. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Headbutt from behind. Oh, big punch. Ouch. Wyatt is sustaining the attack. John has to find an opening and respond. <laughs> Face Buster plants him. <laughs> Able to give him the slip. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Strong oh, kick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, perfect kick. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars were actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. He can do it here. A kick out before three. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Enough already. Maybe not, maybe not! Kicks out at just one. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Out, and here's a cover. Despite less than legal efforts to defeat them, they are standing tall now. I'll give them one thing. They definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here.
now, WWE Universe, it's time to get the tables. We are about to see some hardware get broken tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bubba Ray Dudley, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville, weighing in at 269 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Devon Dudley! The Dudleys have one mission in mind, prove they are the greatest team in history. Two men who are always ready for a fight, and two men who reimagined tag team competition. They've used tables, ladders, and chairs like no one before. And guess what, Cole? There's even more TLC on the menu tonight. And his opponent, representing the D'Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 240 pounds, Tony D'Angelo! Tony D'Angelo is not playing games. This is a man who's been through it all. He survived the turf wars and paid the price to be the Don. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> and Tony D'Angelo is a superstar looking to build a legacy here in WWE, looking to build an empire for himself and his family by any means necessary. You've got to admire a man with ambition like Tony D, a legitimate businessman who started small and has successfully grown his operation. That's something we should all aspire to. The sky is definitely the limit for D'Angelo, as we'll see here tonight. Yeah, but he's fallen into the crosshairs of Devon Dudley, a man who has lived the word extreme to, well, it's extreme. How eloquent, Saxton. But you're right, there's not a shred of fear when it comes to Devon. A participant in the first ever TLC match, it's hard to imagine where the tag team division would be without the influence of Devon and his brother from another mother. Oh, man. That's using your head. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, and this is the hostility Devon Dudley wanted to bring. Thinking big. Big forearm. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Turns that back on Devon. Tony D'Angelo has to be a hard competitor. He thinks he has it. Denying a two count there. Fighting hard to stay in this match. looking blow. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. And Diva. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. And Diva Dudley turning it around. Tony timed that one. Boom, jarring back elbow. out of the ring but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here he eludes the contact dominating shoulder tackle looks like some words have been exchanged and body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest Suplex. he's struggling a bit here they've definitely taken their lumps at this point their opponent is not messing around and now gets tossed into the ring Dominating shoulder tackle. This could be it. Cover. I'm not quite sure what. What? Whoa, whoa, Why whoa, did wait. they? 
No, no, no. So, somebody stop this. Now the referee's been chased out of the oh, ring, and this on. is going to get ugly. Real oh. ugly. Oh, look who's here. This is absolute chaos. Before this match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Or maybe that's asking all oh, too much. Oh. That's how you escalate the disrespect. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? It's all about trying to embarrass this superstar's opponent in the early going. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. Another knee drop. You can't get caught in the hails. A quick cover. And skirts out of the pen. Too soon. <laughs> Clearly waiting for that. Wing shot! Oh, straight to the floor! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Uh, off the rope. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Boom! What a right! Gosh. Oh, and a reversal. This will be bad for him. Standing Spanish flyer. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Vicious knee drop. The common task against Ricochet is to ground him, but Corey, that's a difficult one when the man has athleticism like something out of a comic book. No doubt Ricochet can be a real-life superhero, but I don't care how many buildings you can leap over. If you're constantly being grounded, every attempt to leap is going to have an abrupt ending. <gasps> Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Popped up, whoa, change of plans. With the power of Ricochet. Very nice. Oh, Ricochet showing a little respect to the great one. Ah. People's moonsault. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. Oh, the moonsault connects. Attempting high risk move after high risk move at a breakneck pace. Ricochet is really showing his confidence. And he's taking this to the outside now. Shifts it back onto him. Kick right to the face. Oh, my! And he barely evades. 
gets tossed back into the mat. Turned around Ricochet's attack. Using the ropes. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Great counter by Ricochet. Landing like that can do some lasting damage to the spine. Yeah, no chiropractor has a cure for what we just saw. Oh, strong impact! That's gotta be it! Two! And that's it. Ricochet wins. As much as they could have let the earlier disrespect get to them, they instead found the focus and drive to get the win here. Well, even if they have not earned the respect of their opponent, at least they've earned the respect of every person in attendance here tonight, myself included. Well, I'm not exactly sure how much your respect counts for anything, Saxton, but I know it doesn't mean as much as getting this win. That's what matters most here. Now gonna shake hands now to start things off. Uh, oh, maybe not. Oh, oh, and she paid for it. She did not want to be disrespected. Hey, they should have known better than that. Come on. Tension so high between these competitors. Imagine what they're gonna do to each other tonight. With this matchup officially underway now, I have to say I don't see it being the most sportsmanlike affair. You don't have to like it, Cole, but you have to respect it. Well, I don't like it, and I def... This one's all but over. Say it out! Gets the shoulder up. Trying to make short order of things there. Oh, oh kick right to the spine. Well executed takedown. She avoids the attack completely. A little oh. insult to your injury. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Able to get out of the way. Can't prepare your face for that. And Natalia dodges there. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Referee in position. And she kicks out. She's really looking for the early victory, but she didn't find it. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Suplex. Inexperience has to be one of the bigger hurdles for Roxanne Perez to overcome here. Don't you agree, Corey? Perez knows she's inexperienced compared to some of the other superstars on the roster, Cole, but I think she's been able to turn that into a positive and learn from each match. She's definitely gone into this one looking at it as an opportunity to grow. Takedown. Oh, the helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. All measured up. Drop kick to the back. Roxanne just can't seem to stop this offense. And Perez is seeking salvation. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Turning the tables there. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. Oh my gosh. 
culminating knee smash. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Big form. Oh my gosh, what impact. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Perez fought tough on that one. Oh my goodness. You jam your leg in a bad way. Tapping the leg, debilitating attack on the leg. Looks like Roxanne is the inside track now. Yeah, we can certainly see that Perez has learned from the past and it is capitalizing on it. Making the best. No! Suicide dive! Like a heat seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Oh, man! A uh, timely counter by Natalia. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Thrown back in under the ropes. Roxanne Perez rallying the crowd behind her. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Oh, what a close line. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The tail strikes with Natty Buck. This could do it. Natalia gains the victory. You hate to see it after a hard-fought match. They just couldn't seem to shut them up in this one. It looks like the lack of respect will continue on for now. I know they made a point earlier on to show that they had no respect for their opponent, but come on, after a match like that, how could they not? Well, they still beat them. It seems more like they were just proven right, Saxton. Corey, you know just how much a true competition like that can change things. That's all I'm saying here. The queen has arrived. And boy, does she know how to make an entrance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from the queen city, the Divas Champion, Charlotte Flair. A woman who helped usher in a genuine women's evolution in WWE alongside her fellow four horsewomen. The most highly decorated female superstar in the history of WWE and a guaranteed future first ballot Hall of Famer. Born into this business, the daughter of a two-time Hall of Famer, Charlotte was always destined for greatness, and she has definitely achieved it.
And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great. Gentlemen, trouble is on tap, and here are your servers. And from Chelsea, Michigan, Fallon Henley. A group of superstars who are all about the good old American life. Money, glory, and fun. Mostly the money. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Charlotte Flair, a superstar who needs no introduction. Both her reputation and lineage precede her. Absolutely, Michael. And with that in mind, we have to acknowledge just how intimidating of a competitor Charlotte must be. Because when you are standing across the ring from her, you already know you are going to be fighting quite the uphill battle. Fair point, Byron. There's a much-deserved intimidation factor that comes with the territory of being Charlotte Flair, and we can't discount that. And then we've got the rough and tumble Fallon Henley. This gutsy superstar is focused on two things, taking her game to the next level here in WWE and having fun doing it. Henley may not be as physically imposing as some other superstars, but she has a big presence in the ring. She has seemingly bottomless energy and a willingness to just fight her heart out, if that's what it takes to win. Oh, quite an effective counter. Oh, the blockbuster off the ropes! Oh, right to the kidneys! Golly! Followed up by another to the chest. Henley was scouted there. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And Henley able to reverse that. Corey, I have to ask, what's the thought process got to be when you're facing off against a superstar like Charlotte Flair? What's the mindset you have to have? A superstar like Charlotte Flair, Cole? Nobody's like the queen, but in terms of the mindset, you have to get it in your head that you are better than Charlotte if you want to stand a chance. Sure, it's not true, but believing's half the battle. The other half, well, is the bat. You can see Charlotte's expert game plan experiencing a minor hitch there. Fallon looking to push the advantage after that. And Charlotte crushing the knee there. Uh-oh. Moved at the right time. Flair moved at the right time. Drops the knee. Ooh. Oh, and it's trapped now and just an oh. elbow to the face. <laughs> Delivers the bulldog. Ooh, what a four on the club. Side kick on point. How about a drop kick? Right on the money. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Blast off. All the way to the outside. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Ooh, right to the arm. Charlotte Flair making
making clear she has her number. Taken down to one knee. On the money with the hoedown. Did Henley just close this out? This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. The heaviest are. Alan Henry. Boom! Hold down. And that could do Charlotte. Cover! Almost had her, but she gets the shoulder up. We should have known better than to think the queen was going to bow out there. Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. Followed by the stop. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, will it be? I think so. It's off the pin at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. The Queen measuring her opponent. Opponent and drops the knee. She saw that one coming. Big form. Oh. Made her pay for her mistake. Oh, I'll tell you, I thought this superstar was out of this match, but apparently not. What a comeback! And a victory! What a win she picks up here tonight! Here is your winner, Fallon Henley! Charlotte suffering a major loss here tonight. This is only going to drive Charlotte more in the long run. She's not going to take this defeat lying down. One of the coolest and most confident competitors ever. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 280 pounds, Scott Hall. No finesse, just pure brawling ability. Scott Hall comes to fight and to hurt his opponent. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> It's time to rock. And his opponents, first, representing the Headbangers from New Jersey, weighing in at 243 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Mosh! Mosh lives a unique way of life, uses an extremely unorthodox fighting style. A word of warning, 
Don't get caught up in the mosh pit. He will not handle crowd surfers with care. No one in the history of WWE has done for this company what John Cena has. Not only inside the ring, but outside the ring. And from West Snowbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John! Seen has beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and on. He has won Royal Rumbles, Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. As fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. Look at the eyes pivoting on each of these three competitors in this triple threat match. Things now underway as we see Scott Hall, Mosh, and John Cena. Preparation will be key. All three competitors have to come in. He can pin his opponent right here. And the referee stops the count before two. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Neck breaker! Placed in the corner. They burn an atomic drop. Ooh. What kind of headspace do you need to be successful in a no disqualification match? A ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going after your opponent full of force. Anytime you waste second guessing yourself, it's time for your opponent to get their hands on a weapon. Ooh. Oh, God. And Hall fending him off. Oh, that was just malicious. Just disrespectful. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Boom! Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, he knew what was coming. Feeling a sense of confidence here. Ooh. Hurting the shoulder. What a cross body. A little disrespect directed Hall's way there. Moss put a hurting on him with that one. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Ah, oh, impressive counter. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Ooh, DDT delivered. Wards off that offense from Hall. Big boot to the gut and a clubbing forearm. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. And a heck of a DDT we just witnessed. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of the submission here? Oh, there it is. Sharp elbows. And a hit toss to escape. Oh, stomping away. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands. Big right hand. Paul is just adding insult to injury here. Get him into the corner. DDT! Oh, no, I think that one busted up Cena's face. Kick out. 
Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Oof! Getting cut down by surprise. And he goes into the ring. Here's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. Cena, he thinks he has it. He stops the count. Evades the attack. Scott Hall sending his opponent up. He moved, but can he capitalize? Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Guess that's one way to incite your opponent. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. Shoulder tackle. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Shades of the OEC dub as a kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Oh, the reversal by Cena. And Hall timed that one. Look at the power from Cena. Oh, Cena with the face. Moss trying to power up his opponent and does just that. Here it comes. Burning hammer. Will Moss put him away? The cover. He manages to kick out. What strength. You can't deny Cena's pension. Does he have him here? Here is your winner, Scott Hall! What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. I applaud all three of these superstars for pulling off a match like this. The animal has arrived. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C. Weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, the Animal Batista! We can list this man's accolades all day long. WWE Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, a man who has main evented WrestleMania. And now Batista simply demands that the WWE Universe give him what he wants. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great.
Deathmatch Wrestler of All Time, Shawn Michaels. that Shawn Michaels has for this business is truly indescribable. Being in the ring is heaven on earth to him. Michaels loves this industry. He loves the competition. He loves the fans. And they love him back. He's given so much, done so much, and the fans thank him for it. is underway. Love him or hate him, Big Dave has always carried himself like a superstar. The cars, the clothes, this is a man who loves what he does and knows he does it well. This is the same man who once appeared on Raw and said, give me what I want. And everyone knew what he meant. What he wants tonight, presumably, is a win. We'll see if he can get it in this contest. And he will be facing a true legend in this industry. The one and only Shawn Michaels. The platonic ideal of skill and athleticism, not to mention just innate skill. It seems simple to say Michaels is just better than most people. Not that you can't surprise him, but honestly, that's what your strategy really comes down to. Good timing with that reversal. Reversal from Batista. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. No, right to the throat. And he goes for the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Shawn Michaels' offense comprises of so many forms of attack. Corey, is there a way for his opponent tonight to contain an offensive onslaught that will come from all directions? Look no further than the source of Shawn's first retirement. Target is surgically repaired back. Attack it, and that may keep Michaels at bay. Batista looking a little less sure of himself than he usually does. This is certainly not what he wants. Michaels, will this be enough? Gets the shoulder up after one. A truly impressive. Well, now it's roll up. Gets the shoulder up instantly. He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. And Michaels tattoos him with a flying forearm. The rebellious HBK is. Oh, shot. way to get out of harm there. Line takes him down. Forget about it. Oh, the claw right to the shoulder. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. So confident is Batista. He thinks he's got this one all sewed up. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he has answers for Batista. Oh, they're just punishing their opponent now. He had it scouted. 
Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. Oh, takes the bomb. Match ending power. Shoulders down. Amazing. You can never count the heartbreak kid out, guys. Michaels refuses to concede this fight. And Batista visibly frustrated now as he's not being given what he wants. The animal just might be unleashed as a result of the aggravation. Clothesline takes him down. Forget about it. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now's the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. He needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Elbow drop. Piercing. Batista is out of his cage. I thought I saw Michaels wincing in pain there. I think the number done on his back tonight is to the sky. Diving hammer strike. Oh, Batista with a Batista bite submission. Oh, body is not meant to bend that way. For the love of God. Whoa, this is surprising, Byron. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he would let him out right there. Crushing. He thinks he has it. Three. No. He just won't give up. Quick thinking pays off. HBK might be able to start mounting something here. Brief sign of adrenaline from Sean. Into the cover. Oh. He breaks the ref's count after one. Not even letting the ref get to the two count. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. A uh, R bar. Punishing stretch. Ooh. Elbow drop. Piercing. Attention to the shoulder on that attack. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Batista's being picked apart here. The animal has got to turn the aggression on to survive. He manages to escape it. And Batista looking like a true huntsman now. We could be moments away from that final kill shot. Kicks out. He still has life. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Breaks the count. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Just cranking the head. Has their opponent down. Camel clutch lock. Camel clutch applied. They're not going to last long here. Wait, wait, wait. The grip is broken. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, not to the belly. Ah, trampling the opposition. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the real power these superstars are showing. HBK is a moving target here. them to get in the ring. Wow, what timing beats the count. The animal looking for it. Here it comes. Batista bomb. Will that keep Michaels grounded? Batista did it. What a huge win.
Batista's got to be feeling good about this performance tonight. Hey, Batista earned it in every sense of the word. HBK obviously frustrated by this result, upset with himself for losing. And you best believe Sean's going to learn from this and make sure he doesn't make the same mistakes next time. And here comes one of our favorites. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring. From Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Chris Eric O. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? Here we go, guys. His opponent from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Jeff Harvey. No matter how high the deck is stacked, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them. And as this match gets underway, it's worth noting that while this is a non-title match, we've got a superstar here who very much has championship aspirations on their mind. As they should. If you don't want to be a champ, you shouldn't even consider getting into this business. They definitely have that mentality, Corey. The champ better not get too comfortable. It takes a special breed of superstar to pick a fight with a title holder when the prize isn't even at stake. 
This has the potential to be a statement match. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Boston Crab now. Oh, he gets out. Perhaps some renewed life in him now. are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Uh-oh. Saw it coming. I heaved a sigh. Jeez. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Hits him with the counter. There's the atomic drop and the splash. What a combo. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. He climbs into the ring. <laughs> Up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. He was elusive there. Oh, set flying. <laughs> Elbow puts an end to that. Up and down. Oh. Bomb. Oh. Not done yet. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Again? Uh -oh. One power bomb is devastating enough, but multiples like that is catastrophic. abandoned being shown and paying off as well got out of that position with the desperation jawbreaker setting foot in the ring now was ready for that Jumped face first just got thrown around like a sack of you know what oh and back to the elbow oh that's how you establish dominance Reversal! Can he take advantage? Uh. Hooked up. DDT! Trying their opponent's arm out. A uh, double stop right to the arm. Uh. Ooh, quick knee to the gut. I think we are witnessing a career-altering moment for these superstars, guys. But the spoils will only go to the victor, and I have a feeling we're close to finding out exactly who that will be. Step 
through. Roll on their belly. Outright presentation of power there. Uh, and he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. He takes control. Fighting back with a counter. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. He knows how to avoid this superstar's got new life. Look out below. Can you believe it? Ouch. For the win. Stopping the refs counted too. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Almost inhuman at this point. Boom! Basement drop kick. Oh my god, missed timing! He could pin his opponent right here! It's over! Forces the shoulder up after two. I don't believe it. I don't believe it! I don't either. Can this ref even count the three? Uh-oh, monkey flip! <laughs> I love it! This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Uh-oh. What a hurricane. is it flying forearm and I think we just might see twist of fate taken down with his own move amazing two somehow he kicked out that move has brought him so many victories but almost brought him defeat just then I think there is still some shock in the air over the fact that that did Incredible! It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, he's got him by the leg! The foot DDT! <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Big cross. Hoping to end it here. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, Chris Eric O. That was a difficult win, but it was a big win in the record books. That's what happens when you put in the preparation and the training.
And W.O. is in the building. And that means no one is safe. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the N.W.O. from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, six. Utterly dominant in WCW. That dominance included an iron grip on the WCW Championship, the WCW Tag Team Titles, and the WCW Cruiserweight title. Because here's the thing, Saxton, each man is a main eventer on their own. As a unified front, they are unstoppable. And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> And here he comes. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 295 pounds, Ryan O. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. And here we go, as you can see, Six certainly fired up here tonight. That's because fired up is Six's default state, Cole. Inside the ring, outside the ring, Six is as explosive a competitor as they come. You're absolutely right, Corey. Tonight's matchup should be very, very interesting. And he has his work cut out for him here, facing off against someone who feels he's been disrespected lately. Someone who's really come out here with something to prove. I do not know that I agree he's been disrespected lately, but if he wants respect, it would do him good to win this matchup. We know that Six loves to keep the pace up, loves to keep moving. Surely we'll see plenty of that here tonight. No, we definitely will, Cole. Six has almost unlimited stamina. The guy never runs out of batteries. Oh, wow. Ooh, solid contact there. Had it scouted and returned in kind with the boot. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Sky high. What a missile drop. He can end it here. And he powers out. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. How's that for a counter? Stiff forearm shot. Close line. So effective. He gets out of the way. Unbelievable athleticism. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Evades their offense. What a scary drop. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Lands face first. Right on target. Six is maintaining the ability to be explosive at a moment's notice. 
Mistake by six. Looking to put an end to this. Snap! Power driver! And six is laid out. The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. Cover! One, two! Guys, he put him away. That's a pretty big win. Not for lack of trying, but six on the losing side here. Speed, agility, precision. Six had it all working for him tonight. Yeah, but sometimes your opponent has more working for them.